No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. The story of the SpongeBob musical. Okay. Uh, okay, so, story of SpongeBob the musical. There is a volcano. A really gargantuan volcano. I mean, think Mount Vesuvius, which is about to erupt. Everybody is threatened by the volcano. Will they escape the volcano or not? Who knows? Oh! And SpongeBob becomes the world's most unlikely hero, who, with his kind of cockeyed optimism comes to the rescue. I mean, nobody can quite believe it, least of all me. <laughs> and SpongeBob realizes that friendship and loyalty is important as well as love for the community as well. Community, community, and one more time, community. <laughs> <laughs> I won't spoil the end. <laughs> You'll have to come and see it to see whether the volcano erupts or not. There you go. I think when the show first hit Broadway in 2017, there was a lot of people sceptical about the show. I think people thought that they were going to get one thing and they were a bit snooty about it. And I think what happened on press night in Broadway is everyone's extremely pleasantly surprised. It's, it's, it's a fantastic show. You know, people expect it to be a bit kind of slapdash and it is not that at all. It has been so carefully thought out. And so it just delivers this absolutely slick, gorgeous, hilarious show. The SpongeBob score is so divergent in character because the stars behind the SpongeBob score are so divergent. I mean, everybody from uh, John Legend, Cindy Lauper, Sarah Bareilles, Lady A, there might be giants, T.I., David Bowie is one of the writers. <laughs> Play my tease. Oh, oh, Panic at the Disco, Panic at the Disco, uh, 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 Flaming Lips. Uh, Steve Tyler. Magnetic Zeros. Help. <laughs> There's just a, a, this absolute plethora of massive, massive names who've all written for this show. And that what I have kind of struggled with is how all of these people have written these away from each other and yet it, it feels very cohesive. So even though everything is really, really different and it's varied, it still feels very much like this is a cohesive piece. In 2020 vision never had it, so I had to be devastating, conversating, luminous communicator, hoping that every hitter of this tiny little movie will pay. You never heard of me, okay? I am a giant, I don't give it up, I give it up. Floating up the ceiling, running from the wind, a celebrated single set of silly ages, everybody cheats. Ah! 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 People might hear SpongeBob and automatically think children's show, but I think, like all great family shows, there's a little bit of naughtiness. Uh, not smut. Sadly, no smut. In many ways, it's a love letter to our generation because we grew up watching SpongeBob. But, I mean, I'm saying we grew up. I didn't watch SpongeBob growing up. Exclusive. But there's definitely tears that one can read this show on. And, uh, and I have enormous fun playing multiple tears. This show, just like the, uh, just like the animation, is for everybody. You know, it's a, a real feel-good show and it's certainly for adults as well. Um, adults who are young at heart, I guess. 
it really is for everybody. And I know everybody says that. I know every, oh, this show is for everybody. But I, it actually is, you know? I have never lived in a pineapple under the sea, but I've always fantasized about Atlantis. Some of the residents are positively Herculean. Hello, Jason Momoa. Hello, Jason Momoa, indeed. Hello.